All right, guys, so we have our React application complete for now. We have a CRUD application that is working with our loopback backend, but they're completely separate right now. You can see that the front end is on 3001, the back end is on 3000. What we want to do is combine the two. So there's a few things that we need to do, a few steps we need to take. So this is this is where we left off in the last video. We have the React server running here. I have the loopback server running here. So what I'm going to do is stop the React server. Control C. We're still in the client source. And then uh, we're going to go into our package.json for the React app. Okay, make sure it looks like this. And basically when we run uh, when we run npm build, which is going to call this script right here. It's going to call react scripts build. Whoops, don't want to do that. When we call that, it's going to take our source code and it's going to compile it into static assets that basically we could just upload to a server. Okay, it's going to um, just create our client files. Now, what we want is instead of just putting it into a folder called build, which is what it will do by default, we want it to go into the let me just show you right here uh, we wanted to go into this client folder which is is part of loopback that's the client side of loopback all right we wanted to go from here into there instead of just a build folder inside of here which will happen by default so we're just going to add on to this build script right here so we'll say react scripts build and we want to just put in right here double ampersand and we're going to put in the CP command, which is the copy command. We want it to be recursive. OK, we want to take everything and we want to uh, copy it from build slash everything. So everything that's in that build folder, all the static assets that it compiles, we want to copy it to dot dot slash client slash. OK, it's going to go outside of the client CLI into the client folder that's in the loopback server. OK, so hopefully that's clear. Again, it's going to take the build folder that it, that it creates. It's going to copy it into the client folder. So let's just make sure it looks exactly like this and then we'll save this. All right. And then we should be all set. We'll go ahead and close that up. And now down here, we're going to run NPM build. All right. Now make sure when you run NPM build, you're inside of the client source folder. All right. It wouldn't work anywhere else anyways, but just make sure you're in there. And hopefully what, what should happen is it'll put everything into that client folder in loopback. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm sorry, it's NPM run build. All right. So it's creating an optimized production build. Not sure why that happened. It's kind of weird. Maybe I should have ran it in the terminal. All right, so I'm just going to guess that uh, let's, let's, let's check the files. So if we go to meetups and client source, so it, it created the build. This is what this, the static assets looks like. You can see there's a folder called static. And now let's check in meetups inside the loopback client folder. And there it is. Everything got copied. All right. I'm not exactly sure why VS Code just went blank like that, but um, it did move the files. So I'm going to go ahead and just close up VS Code, I guess. And hopefully that worked. Now, if we let's restart the server here, if we restart the loopback server, and we go to localhost 3000, not not the Explorer, but just localhost 3000. We're still going to get this screen, OK, and that's completely normal. There's a couple things we have to do on the loopback side. So what we'll do is open up VS Code again. And instead of being in the client source folder, I want to open up just the the um, the root folder. So let's say open open folder actually. And we want to open 
just meetups, okay? Not the client source, but meetups itself. All right, and you can see that the client folder now has all of our static assets in there from React. And there's a couple things that we want to change. So first of all, we want to go into server, boot, and then root JS. And right here where we have this router get slash, we just want to get rid of this server loopback status. That's that's what's displaying this right here, the status. So we can just completely get rid of that and get rid of that comma. So it's just nothing. It's just the get slash. So that's the first thing. And then we want to go into the middleware. Uh, middleware .json file and go down to files. Okay, right here. Um, files. It's just an empty object, and we want to add to this loopback. Uh, actually, it should be in quotes, double quotes. So this is going to be loopback. Uh, let's see, hash static, and then we want to set that to an object, and we want to say params. Again, should be in double quotes. So params, and then here we want to put in uh, money sign exclamation dot dot slash client. Okay, so basically what we're saying is that the static page for this loopback server should be the client folder, which is the, this right here that we compiled all our React stuff to. All right, and that has the index HTML file in it that we want to load. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and restart the server. All right, let's cross our fingers and let's reload localhost 3000 and there's our application. All right, we're no longer running anything that's in the C at this the client source folder. This is all coming from this the client folder on the loopback server. All right, so now what we want to do is test everything. So you can see that the details page works. Uh, let's try to edit something. So we'll say Angular Meetup. We'll change it to uh, let's say 41 Main Street and save. Go to Angular Meetup 41 Main Street. Let's add something here. We'll say PHP Meetup. And that's going to be in let's say uh, I don't know Sacramento. And address 33 Brook Ave and save. And there we go. PHP meetup. All right. Let's make sure we can delete. So now we have a complete full stack react and loopback application. Now you're not going to want to edit anything in this client folder. What you're going to do is use your client source folder. That's your that's your dev environment. OK, so if you make any if you want to make any changes, you'll obviously, you know, go into your components and do whatever you need to do. And then you're just going to run again uh, NPM run build from the client source folder and it'll build it into the client folder. All right. That's going to be your workflow. Now, like I said, we're not going to get into authentication just yet. I'm pretty new to loopback. I've built full I've built full stack applications with React and, and Node Node and Express. Um, I imagine that the authentication with loopback, all we really need to do is make a request to get an access token and then we can store that access token and we can use that to then make requests to authenticated routes. And and uh, uh, making routes uh, protected in loopback is really easy. If you watch that other loopback video I was telling you about, you'll see how we can do that. All right, so we'll probably make it so that you can see the meetups publicly, but you'll be, you'll have to log in to add them. All right, and there's no promises when I'm going to make that video. I do have some other things I need to get to, including my next course and and some other YouTube stuff that I have planned. But hopefully this gives you guys somewhat of an idea on how to mix React and loopback. Uh, at least in one way. I mean, you know, people do different things in different ways, um, but this is just one way. So hopefully you liked it. And if you want to go ahead and you want to try the authentication yourself or you want to add to this application, I'm going to put the link in the description to the GitHub repository. So feel free to clone it. 
uh, fork it, do what you want with it, and um, you know, leave comments or, or whatever. So please like if you like this video, subscribe if you're not, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you've been watching my videos for a while and you really like what I do and I've helped you out a lot, consider becoming a patron. Even for $1 per month, it pushes me to keep bringing you guys the best content I possibly can. There's reward tiers for discounts, free Udemy courses, personal support, and more. So check out the Patreon link in the description below for more info.